shaking and his body is shimmering and he could see some silvery wings that is being formed behind for him and the water bug had become a grasshopper. We called it, we call it as what? Yeah? It's a scientific term. It's got transformed into a grasshopper. So the water bug had become a grasshopper and it had got wings and for him he couldn't control it. Suddenly you become, you are human and you become a bird. What will happen? So he felt like, what? I am a grasshopper. And he started flying up the sky, dancing on the wind and he said like, this is my life, is it? And he kept on flying on. He became too tired because he was enjoying his freedom because all through life he was sitting down in the water bath as a water and today he has found his newfound freedom and he started flying on the air and slowly he became tired he came to rest on the lily pad then he remembered hey my friends are all there down and i have a promise to keep i have to go and tell them that what has happened to me and today i have become a grasshopper so i have to go and tell them what is the life that is there above the lily stalk and sitting on top of the lily pad it seems the grasshopper had four realizations he realized Right now, even if I want to go down, I can't go down. Because my life, I've got transformed into a different being. So I can never go down to the same set of friends and tell them what has happened because I cannot go inside the water hereafter. And also the second point, he also realized, even if he wants, he can't go. If he goes, by chance, will his friends be able to recognize him? Will his friends be able to recognize him in the new form? They will never be able to recognize him because he's a totally different form. And this particular thing is not the same set of that particular water bug is not the same thing. So they had a thing. He had the third realization. Now that I've become a water bug, now that I've become a grasshopper, I will never be able to become a water bug and go down. Or I can't go and tell them I have this one chance to live my life as a grasshopper and the way I live my life as a grasshopper, the entire set of water bugs will be able to, one day they will all keep thinking, no, why did this fellow also didn't come back and somebody will get trans, you know, they will get inspired to start living the life of what I am living today and they will also start becoming a grasshopper. So, is this a story of a grasshopper? Isn't this the story of every human being in life where your own friends will not be able to, the way you grow, because it's, it's all into, we all settle into a comfort zone. Why do you think a woman keeps traveling across India to change lives? We don't charge for a workshop. We don't, and in whatever, even the paid programs or whatever training programs people take, I think the life people are living across. Today, yesterday I happened to meet a lot of people in Paris and Novans, and these people, the way they are living life, they had no clue of four years before what they were all senior managers right now. They joined as a pressure, moved into the organization and the life people are living is not comparable to any cost. Because you could have remained a water bug and some, when somebody pulls you up and says you are not supposed to be in that play, you know, you are supposed to be in that play. And when your life changes, your entire life changes and there are times where your own friends will not be able to recognize what you are. And this is not a story because at this session, Let's decide that we are not going to be a grasshopper. We are not going to be a water bug, comfort zone. No, because we don't break out our comfort zone. We don't try to go out for another interview. We are not ready to face rejections. The next interview that rejects us will become gone. Why do we fear to go for an interview? There are so many walk-in drives. We are afraid if that fellow says I am not good, I am not getting, I have to go tell my parents, I have to tell my friends. And we are afraid of rejections. We are afraid of what people will think. And just because we are not allowing ourselves to be judged upon, rejected upon, we tend to remain the same set of people. We'll be like everybody. Whatever everybody is doing, whatever, whichever company is easy to accept us, and that's our mindset. So let this session be a session of, you know, transformation. Please close your eyes. We have a small one-minute prayer and a one-minute silence, and we'll continue the session. Please close your eyes. You hear a voice. 